soap cutter. So when we're all starting out, we make our loaves of soap, and the next step that we have to do is cut it. So normally our first cutter is, you know, a crinkle cutter or um, one of these cutters, and you could either just cut it straight or we get one of these and on this side you can put the straight cutter on this side is the crinkle cutter and i'm sure if you're a soap maker you know how to use this but i'm going to show you really quick because we're doing the evolution of, of the soap cutter so you take your loaf and you set it in here and you line it up to your one inch line or whatever so first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the corner and it gives you a nice straight cut and voila, okay? And then you line it up to the bar, to the line that you want, because we want a one inch cut. We line it up to the one inch and we cut again. And this is how you do the crinkle cut. And then we allow that bar to cure. So that's the first way that we cut perfect straight bars. After we do that for a while and we got more cells and we need to sell more soap. The next one that we go to is the multi cutter. So this is a one inch multi cutter. I got this one from soapequipment.com. So you take your loaf and you line it up. And then you're able to cut all at one time and if your loaf is longer it goes out so then you take the bars and you put them on your chair and you separate the bars a little bit so that they can cure okay after you do that after you do use this this is a cutter that a lot of people use for a long time but the next step of cutters would be the air cutter so as you can see right here we have cut um, 12 blocks or actually I'm sorry this is eight blocks into soap and we use the air cutter and how you use the air cutter is you take your loaves and you stack them on top of each other so let me stack up the loaves I'm able to do about 10 at a time. So that's a hundred bars of soap. Instead of one by one with the loaf, we're doing 10 by 10 with this one. So let me. That's eight. push it under the plate and this is a one inch plate and according to Robbie the next step is to put your guide pins in and then you slowly bring it down make sure it's all leveled which it's not because you want to be able to get as many bars out of this as possible so we're going to scoot it over a little bit Okay, and then you do it by layers. So you go here, you take your scrap pieces, you put them in a five gallon bucket, and then you take your bars. And, and then when you're ready to stack, one of the soap stackers just magically appears and you take your soaps and you set them inside so and then you cut some more and pieces See? 
see how much quicker the multi cutter is than the loaf cutter. Finish it off. So this right here is um, Mad Oils Kai and um, Mad Oils, sorry, this scent right here is Mad Oils Kai and the color is Peacock for Mad Oils. It's very pretty soap. It sells very well. So and you just fill this up and then you go and you stack it. Right now it's full of bath bombs, but <laughs> you stack it and you just keep doing that and that's what we're going to be doing with all of these soaps and then we're going to allow them to cure and then we're going to box them and ship them off to the customer so right there is the evolution of how you can cut soap you start with a miter box and a um a crinkle cutter and then you go to the multi loaf um or the multi bar loaf cutter um and then you go to the air cutter um, so that's kind of the evolution of how to cut a bar of soap. My name is Joanna Couch. I am the Soap Gal. I will see you on Sunday.